Championship football returns this weekend. Huddersfield Town start their campaign away at Hull City. Gareth Jones is going to be at the KC Stadium. Team news for Town, first of all. Well, they've got more or less a clean bill of health going into the new season, which is great for any club. I suppose the only little question mark is the fact that the two strikers, Ishmael Miller and James Vaughan, haven't had much game time in pre-season due to injury. So it's to decide for Chris Powell whether he doesn't play either, which I'd be amazed at. I think he will go with two up front to partner Naki Wells. Which one does he go for? We know James Vaughan's one of the best players in the team, but... There's an argument to say Ishmael Miller might be the more suited foil to Naki Wells, the little and large partnership that works so well with Wells at Bradford City with James Hansen. Naki Wells looks at another level already in pre-season. I think he's going to have a really big season, so exciting to see him up front. And it's important to really service him and get the best formation to get the best out of him. Elsewhere, I think we'll see Lynch and Hudson at the back, and I think we'll see Whitehead, the new signing, and maybe the only new signing um, start in the central midfield. Trip away to Hull is never going to be easy, particularly with them having just been relegated as well. But you never quite know what to expect. And they've not been particularly quick in doing their transfer business either. So a lot of new faces for Hull. Yeah, I mean, it's difficult to tell what they'll be like coming down, won't they? Because we all expected Fulham last season to be right up there. And they had a disastrous season. We remember Steve Bruce fondly from Huddersfield Town Times. He's a great guy. So I hope... Hull go on and have a decent season, but not on the first day of the campaign. I think Town should go there. No pressure on them at all. No expectation. And I think they'll go and put a good account of themselves. And I expect they will be able to get something. I say there's no pressure on them. People will remember the disastrous start from last season. 4-0 home defeat to Bournemouth. So they do actually need a better result this time around. If it's another big hammering, then I think Town fans will think, here we go again. And Chris Powell just cannot afford that. Overall state of the squad, they have brought in some new faces, some experience, some, some young players coming into town over the summer as well. So do you think the squad has overall improved from last season? When we had our Huddersfield Town special with the fans on Tuesday, it was really mixed feeling and I'm the same. Looking at them individually, I'm not wowed by them. When you put them all together, there is a clear pattern there. Some experience and some exciting players. Uh, David Sun, to correct myself from earlier, will start at left back, so he'll be the second new signing to play, uh, to definitely start tomorrow. And he looks very good. Whitehead adds the experience. Dempsey, the exciting you know, a youngster coming through, and he's really impressed in pre-season, but his head went down quickly when he made the mistake at Barnsley that led to their equalising goal. I'm not sure if the squad is any better at the moment, particularly with the sale of Connor Cody. I would feel much more comfortable if another exciting, creative midfielder was brought in to replace him. But overall, I think Town should be OK. Expectations, I'll ask you about in just a second. Um, I asked Chris Powell about that this week, and this is what he had to say. Is top 10 finish a realistic end for the oh, season? Behave yourself. Oh, Please. come on. Behave yourself. Um, what's realistic is how we go game by game, month by month, see where we are. You know, last year we had um, a couple of really good spells, obviously, one quite early on, sort of October, September, October time. Um, and we had one bad week, really, where we lost three in a week. That was, you know, you, you never feel great when you lose games, but that, that week was a tough week for us. Um, but the response was good. And then, as I remarked earlier, um, we had another seven game unbeaten run. We lost one in the last ten. And it's just how it is in this league. Um, if I give any predictions we don't make it, then that, that's not great. What, what we've got to do is be very competitive in a tough league. So Chris Powell absolutely would not be drawn on what he thinks the target should be for town. Over, where do you think they can finish this season? Well, this is again the thing with Huddersfield Town and probably half the championship. You just don't know. I think ultimately Town are that mid-table sign. And I mean that as praise, not, not a criticism, particularly with the money they're spending there. But we all know that they have such great potential that when they're at their best, and if they find that better consistent level and reach their potential, they're a top 10 team. If they have a few injuries, if they play badly and their heads go down, they could be in relegation trouble again for at least part of the season. So I think mid-table for Huddersfield Town, anywhere... Uh, 13th and above is a really successful season. Let's remember in the Championship, every year they have finished that place highest. They are building and progressing in the Championship and it's up to these players to really step up this year and fulfil that potential we know they've got on a more consistent basis. So really difficult to say exactly where they're going to finish because we know the Championship is absolutely crazy, but they've got enough quality in there and they've got a good manager in Chris Powell, although a conservative one, 
to be solid in mid-table at least. And I think for Huddersfield Town, that's got to be the minimum aim every year. And if they achieve that, we should all be happy. Find out how Huddersfield Town get on with their opening match of the season, then away at Hull City. The only place you can hear it right throughout the season. We've got all the Huddersfield Town games on BBC Radio Leeds. All the pre-match build-up starting at around about 20 past two on 774am and DAB. And then you can hear the match on all BBC Radio Leeds frequencies. Free V719, DAB, FM. Uh, you can hear all of that from three o'clock. Join us if you can.